Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody wanted to know how to draw this paperclip. This paperclip would actually probably trace, but it is a good kind of a lesson to draw something like this and get some different ideas on how to do things. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually going to start like right here and draw a rectangle, pretty much the even the size of that. Let's bring it down a little bit, kind of get it in the middle of our paper clip because we're going to make it thicker. And then take that line and have your ratio or your edit corner unlocked. And I'm just going to put in two inches and two inches. And you see we get that bend. Uh, that's one of the things you don't really have to figure out because you can't go too much. You could put in five and five and it would only go so far. Then take another rectangle tool and we'll make this rectangle go about to the middle. And we're going to rotate or edit these corners. And I can still put in two and two because it's not going to go any further than it needs to. Now we need one other rectangle. And we're going to go from, I'm going to say like right here to right here. And I'm going to do it on this side, two inches by two inches. Now we can take our drawing away. If we can select it, and we did. Have it kind of close so you can kind of look at it. And then we need to take the shape tool. Well, first of all, we need to select all this and turn them into a curve. That way we can break them apart. We're going to take the shape tool and we're going to take that one right there and we're going to right click and break apart. I'm going to take that one right there and right click and break apart. By doing that, I can now take away this line and it didn't mess anything up. Let me see here. Uh, we can actually go ahead and take that line with the shape tool and bring it in a little kind of more even with the other one. And then we need to, we could actually probably virtually delete that right there, that right there, and that right there because they're not touching. And delete that right there. Now we've got a little bit of a line there. And we can delete that. Go ahead and delete that. And we can actually take a two-point line and put it about right there and delete this side. So now we got our basic shape. We can delete our new line. Now what we need to do is select it all and combine it. That way it makes it all one line. Let's take the shape tool again and put it kind of make it even with this. There's a couple of nodes I don't like, but there's actually an extra line behind there. That's what that node is. So let's move this out of the way. There must be a line on top of my line. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's, you can almost see it. Let's take the shape tool and break that apart and see if we can't. We don't want to move that line. So let's take this line and move it and hit delete. Now we should just have one line. Now we should be able to go back to object We've already combined it, so let's just, well, we can't even group. Let's break the curve apart, select it all, go up to object, and combine it again. Then we can take our pen tool, double click on it, go ahead and change it to black. And I would move this out of the way so you can see it. And then change it to something other than a hairline. I'm going to say 16 point and pick rounded, rounded end caps. And voila, there you have a paper clip. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.